Hi, everyone. Good morning. This is Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. We're forging ahead on our summertime uh, arts and crafts. And we're, this morning, I thought that I would show you how we can build your own uh, joy cards. Or these also could be done in the Maker and Explore. So simple. And um, this size is the... A2 size that we're so fond of and that cuts really well in the joy. Um, and you could make it five by seven for the maker or explore. Good morning. So, um, you know, I was talking to one person, a person over at Cricket, um, and he wanted me to show people about um, how the Joy can make cards that aren't, aren't just those insert cards. Like the insert cards are a great way to start, but they can be kind of um, basic. Like, and I don't want to say that in a bad way. I mean, they're beautiful cards, but they don't use any um, glue or, you know, they don't use different colors and what have you. And so after that conversation, I started thinking, you know, um, uh, you know, there, there are a lot of ways to make cards on the joy, just if you have the know-how of how to sort of build them. Cause this card is actually, um, just built on the back of a card, uh, base, and we could put our, our sentiment in here, but it's basically, it's just, this is an image. It's three um, layers here. Um, I kind of was rushing. I didn't glue it all the way, but uh, good morning, everyone. I just kind of jumping in this morning. I guess I'm really excited. But um, so, so these, this is an image that I found in Design Space, and it's part of a grouping that I'm going to show you where to find. Yay. Hi, Terry. <laughs> um, so these are definitely doable in, you put me on the TV, I'm famous. <laughs> Shelly says she put me on the TV. How do you do that? Oh, I, I'm sure, I'm sure I can figure it out, but I don't know. All this new fangled stuff. Anyway, so this morning we're going to be working on some cards and turning some images that might not generally have been thought of as card images um but uh but you can make into a card so i'm going to be working on my ipad this morning you don't need to work on ipad but this is how i found it easy to show you you know, you can work off of your phone, your laptop, your desktop or whatever. So I found these really cute. Actually, I didn't find them. I've known about them. But I found, uh, I got these really cute. Um, and these are, the. I think these were originally intended, these images originally intended to layer vinyl with. And you could certainly do that. But some of them are very square and they look really good on a card. So let me show you where you're going to find them. First, uh, you could start with a blank canvas if you want. Oh, good. All right, Terry. Good. So you can start with a blank canvas. I have these things here. I can move them over. And I'm going to go to Image Plus. Okay, so I'm going to choose Image Plus. And then I'm going to highlight a categories because I know this uh, particular image set. Um, and so we're going to go to image sets and here in image sets, which this is my favorite place in the I just have to admit that this is my favorite place in um in the image search <laughs> because I am an old school crafter and I used to craft from the uh, cartridges. So there is this cartridge or in image set called Intricate. It has the word intricate in the name, I should say. All right. So here we have a lot of the snowflakes and look at those mandalas, really beautiful. This also is, it's not the one that I'm going to, um, good morning, Helen. Oh, Lisa, still in the hospital. Oh, Lisa, email me. Um, I'll send you something. Okay, Lisa, email me. You, re you remember my email address, Miss Rita to the rescue at Gmail. Okay. 
I'd like to send you a card or at least. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so this is the image set that I was speaking of. It's called Intricate Cut Quotes. And if you click on it, you will find, um, in addition to some really fun drawing things, which this also could be done um, on a joy, these draw things, but there are these three, I think they're mostly three color um, images that you could do with uh, layered vinyl. But here are the ones that I kind of thought, you know, and I know that they're layered vinyl because look, this is like a sign for when you come in, remove your shoes and stuff like that. This is the thing about the kitchen. But um, a couple of them, I thought like this one here, sun, water, salt, and sand, that would make a great card. It would look good on the card. You can build the card from there. Um, there's our, you are, um, be your own sunshine. I love that one. Um, this one here is cool. You're awesome. Remember that. And uh, so, so this is, I love this attitude of gratitude. So look at this one, love the little things. So there's quite a few in here that you could choose. And again, you could do them uh, as writing or drawing, um, or you can do it in this layered thing. So let's pull in to our thing. Let's pull this one in just so you can see it. I'm going to pull in the sun, water, salt, and sand one. And you'll see they come in um, maybe not in the size that you want, but uh, to talk about making these cards now on the joy, um, the maximum you can go is four and a quarter inches, which is this way and then you can go long but an A2 size card is generally four and a quarter by five and a half right and now if you're going to make this on the maker you don't have to do this next part which is um, have a base so um, I found this great card pack this is an insert card pack and it's called Mesa Sampler and it has all these wonderful colors in there um, so you could use those colors and they come with the envelopes or if you want, you can create your own base card. Let me show you how you do that. So, so this is my, it's called a personal trimmer and actually this, I believe this is going to, Yes, this is going to be um, this month's giveaway or is this month's giveaway. And the personal trimmer can be, um, see this? This is the personal trimmer blade. It's very small but very sharp. This is the um, the blade. It's not really a blade, but it's it's very, it's not sharp at all. It's just a bump and that creates the um, scoring. So if you don't have, if you have a joy... Um, personally, I would definitely get one of these trimmers and get this blade, or it's not really a blade, but get the scoring piece to it. But to start with uh, with cutting, we have to put the blade in. So it's so simple. You just put it in there. What? Don't you bark. I can hear you growling. Don't you bark. Sorry. <laughs> so there it is. And then I just put it into my personal trimmer by sort of separating those two things. Be careful because it's really sharp, okay? So you take an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper or cardstock. I just chose white because it's easier, but you can choose any color, obviously. You're going to put it into the trimmer and you're going to cut it in half, exactly in half, which is, it's 11 inches along, so it's, half of that is five and a half inches, right? So there's my five and a half inches, and I just go up once with that blade, and I now have two equally sized pieces of, um, of cardstock. Now, if I want to be very precise about it. I can then put my scoring piece in 
and here's one of the two sides that I cut. Now I'm going to cut it this way. I'm not cut it, I'm gonna score it halfway here. So I'm going to, so halfway of eight and a half is four and a quarter, right? So I'm going to measure, using this ruler, measure exactly a four and a quarter. And then I'm going to use the scoring tool part, and there's my score. Yeah, the trimmers are really good. You could, you might win win one this month because <laughs> we have them on the uh, on the giveaways. I still have quite a few to give away, but they are really good. So just to show you that again, I have my halved piece of paper, put it underneath here, and then at four and a quarter, be very precise about it. Um, you're going to do that scoring thing, and look at how easy it does the scoring. Now you could do that by hand if you want to. That's certainly fine and, and that won't be a problem for you, but we're gonna need a base to do this. So that's the base. So now let's talk about our image. So our image has to be able to fit on here, right? Which is again, four and a quarter, five and a half. Okay, so when you have this brought in, to check the size, you can go down here or go to where actions are, and, I'm sorry, edit is, and you can see what the size is. So this particular one that I brought in is two and three five, 0.35 inches as a width and a height of 3.11. Well, that will fit, but it won't it won't look good on our card. We need to make it so that either we can have like a little thing around it or sometimes you want to see the card showing. Hi Susan. Um so we're going we want it to resize this. Now when you resize it, do it as the whole piece. Don't ungroup it because you want all of the layers to be sized appropriately, okay? And the measurement is actually the outside layer. So here I've got just want to bring I'm gonna bring it down here so you can see it together. So here my width is 3.44 and my height is four and a half. I can go as high as four and a quarter to five. And you'll see that this will still mm, it will be a little bit bigger on the height because it's 5.6, remember, and we have five and a half. So might want to just make it smaller. You can do it this way, or you can do it down here. And maybe we'll do it at four inches. Four. Okay. So now this will cut out for... Um, on on our joy at three separate pieces, okay? And um, I actually prepared... Um, I can't use this image because I prepared the colors for one of these. Um, so I'm going to actually, I'm going to um, hide. So if you have more than one image on your canvas and you want to use it, but you don't want to cut it right away, all you have to do is go to your layers tab. Now, if you're on your desktop, it's that it's that um, persistent bar on the right-hand side. But if you're on the iPad or the mobile device, you have to hit layers, okay? Now, I want to cut this one, and I don't want to eliminate these two, but I don't want to cut them today, okay? And so I have to make sure that they're highlighted, and the whole thing is highlighted. So if you just highlight, say, this one, then... If you make this hidden, it's only going to hide that layer. So if you want to hide the entire image, you have to make sure you do it at where the title of the image is if it's attached. Okay, and then I'm going to choose this little eyeball and it will automatically hide. Now you haven't lost it, it's just hidden and you don't want, you, you're just trying to cut out this one thing. I use this technique all the time because I, you know, I, I, what I do is I go and I grab a bunch of images all at once while I'm thinking about it. And then I sort of design on my canvas and, and design something, cut one thing out. And maybe I still want those other images for something else. So here we're going to, um, have 
hide this one here. It's highlighted. and See how it's highlighted right here? So I'm going to use the eyeball again, and it's hidden. So now we have this, um, which is three layers of, um, of what normally probably would be vinyl. And you could definitely use vinyl on a card, by the way. I mean, I've done that, but I'm just going to do paper. But so we're ready to cut this. And let me just check and make sure that the size of it is going to fit. Oh, look at that. It's four and a quarter by 5.85. That's not going to work because our card again is four and a quarter by 5.85. I'm sorry, by 5.5. So this is going to have a little bit of overhang. Okay. So we need to change not the width, but the height. And how do we do that? We just go here where there is a little lock. You see that? And also there's a lock right here on the image, bottom left of the image. See that? So you can either do it here or you can do it up on the image, but you unlock it. So it looks like an unlocked um padlock, right? And so that means when I change one of the parameters, whether it's the height or the width, the other one will stay exactly as I have it. Now, you have to be very careful with using this. It's not something you're going to use to make images um, really, really small or really, really bigger than what they are because it won't be proportionate. But in this case, we just have to shave off like less than a half an inch. Um, and so, so we just need to change the height to 5.5. And what you'll see when we do that, well, I didn't show that part, but but what ends up happening is you have now an image that is 4.25 by 5.5 that's perfect for our card because that we're going to build it on this base, okay? Now, if you want it to be on the safe side or you wanted a little bit of white around the card or something, you could go smaller. You could do maybe four by five inches and sort of center it on there. I sort of did that here a little bit, but you don't have to. That's up to you. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and make this. Um, and by the way, I have up here... I have my machine selection to Joy, and I'm also connected. Let's just take a look with our Bluetooth. I'm connected here on Joy, okay? So let's cut this out. So we do that by hitting Make It. And it's asking me what kind of, uh, what kind of, material am, am I cutting out? Do I need a smart material that goes without the mat? Or do you want to go on the mat? You want to use the card mat? Now I know we're making a card, but we're not going to use the card mat, okay? Because that is just for pre-folded that accommodates the fold in the card. And we're not actually cutting our base. We're going to use on the mat. And then we will see our three pieces and this one is just plain orange, but then there's another one and another one. And we're gonna build this, okay? So let's hit continue. And let's get the joy over here. Probably shouldn't pull it by by the flap. <laughs> now we have to choose the uh, material. And in this case, I have a few favorites, but not uh, cardstock yet. So I need to look for the material. So I go there by all materials and these are all the materials that are compatible with the joy and notice that it can do faux leather we did that with the earrings not too long ago it can do all kinds of paper it does some plastic and also a bunch of vinyl party foil and even window cling but today we're doing paper. So let's go to medium cardstock. That generally is what I cut this cardstock on. Now, by the way, this cardstock, 
um, is I've cut it down to four and a quarter inches. Um, this is basically that eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock that we had, but instead of cutting it this way for the base, I'm cutting it this way and at four and a half. So you'll end up with a strip left over, which I have over here. I keep my, here's, so here's my strips. So, um, so four and a half isn't exactly halfway, but it's, it's enough to cover the entire, um, mat. Okay. So I have my three colors ready and I'm going to cut, um, each of these separately. Let's start with the easy one, which is that orange. And I'm going to open my machine. I have my orange paper affixed to my, um, this is a 12 inch, but you could use a six inch one, that's fine. Um, and then we're going to put it underneath these guide marks and so that they're going to get picked up by the rollers which are here in the machine and automatically will pull it in for you see it's loading it's just checking to see if it has enough material okay and then all we're going to do I have to set the material again sorry all we're going to do I'm going to have it remember is hit go and it's going to start cutting out the orange um, part of the card. See, this is what we're cutting out. So there's our base, which we already have. Now we're doing the orange, and then we're gonna do the light yellow, and then that darker yellow, like a sunflower. Once I cut that out, I'm gonna unload it. Here's my base. By the way, um, I spent the weekend or part of the weekend um, cleaning mats and I cleaned all my joy mats and the stick, except for the card mat, which unfortunately doesn't stick very long um, and should be replaced, except for the card mat. If you wash these um, with a soap, soapy, like soap, the trimmer, uh, okay, hold on a second, Aladra. So if you use a a scrubby sponge, like a new scrubby sponge, and put some like Dawn or any kind of dish liquid, li dish liquid on here and just sort of scrub it, then rinse it, let it dry, the stick comes back to it. So that's good to know. You don't have to always be going out and buying these, okay? So I'm gonna put in my second color um, and then I'm gonna answer your question, Aladra. Let me hit okay, it's all ready, hit okay. So Aladra's asking um, about the trimmer. This is the trimmer. Now, you do not have to buy a Cricut one. This is a Cricut one, but um, I like this one because, well, it comes through Cricut, but I like that it has a an option for changing out the blade and the score. Um, and I'll show you something else. When I'm not using that score, I will take this, I will take this feeder or the runner or whatever you want to call it, shuttle um, off, turn it around and take my, this is my scoring blade and I can store it in the back like this. Clicks right in or if I had an extra blade, I could store it here. And then, um, then I can put the blade back and it just goes like this. Just be careful because it is sharp. It's tiny, but it's sharp. It's like, reminds me of like what you need if you had to prick your finger for, uh, to test your insulin levels or something. It's that sharp. Um, okay. So, and then it goes back on. I like this. So it's a Cricut. Um, you can buy it at Cricut.com and if you do plan on purchasing a Cricut, I will leave my link, um, as I always do, in the description of this video when I'm done. And if you click through it and use um, my link and code, you'll save 10%. But this is only uh, $17, $17 or $16.99, I think it is. And I like because it goes, opens up to 15 inches. 
Um, it just works for me. And it's really useful, especially if you have a joy. It's, it's very useful. Um, I cut my vinyl with it. I cut my paper with it. It's not just a... a um, Oh, I'm going to unload this. It's not just for paper. So there's our second our second cut. I'm going to put the third cut in. This one is the most intricate one, I believe. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, so it's not just uh, Cricut is what I wanted to say is that um, you can also find like a Fiskars and even Michaels has them. They're in the scrapbooking section um, where maybe where the papers or the tools are. So if you can't get your hands on one from Cricut, you could um, go to your local. Uh, <laughs> You threw it out. Oh, Michelle is saying she threw out the score piece. That's okay. They're really cheap to buy replacements and the score. I think it's like five bucks. So this kind of thing, um, I actually have two of them because I really just like them a lot. And um, it stores here, so you can't really break it. it. It's lasted me a long time. I've had it like five years. So it's definitely a good investment and not that expensive. Don't spend a whole lot of money on it if you buy something other than Cricut because um, because you can get it at Cricut for uh, under $20. Okay. So, so here's my second piece, but unfortunately I it didn't cut this side all the way. And I normally would just have my little scissors. Where are they? Let me get them. Okay. So I got my little scissors. And I also use this pick um, to sometimes there are little tiny pieces that are uh, not pushed through like this, there's O, and I'll use that pick to to sort of push them through and pick them off. So we've got now two of the three layers. See, it's going to give me a little bit of an edge around there, which is really nice. And it's working on. Now, when I did, and be careful, because when I did this one here, um, Gluing it was a little bit tough because of all of these little tiny, I have to go back and do some gluing, but all of these little tiny uh, letters, like pieces of letters kind of, I mean, it's, it's easy to glue this, but this one here, you have to be careful when you're cutting it, that it's not, it can be a little bit difficult because it's, it was designed to be used with adhesive, so it didn't, you know, the designer didn't think, oh, someone's going to have to put glue on the back of this. Um, so, that, you know, that's, that's sort of all the, some of these things, because they're designed for one thing or another, um, then that's what happens. So while we're waiting for that last piece to cut out, I can just show you. Let me get my glue. Here's my glue. This is the glue that I always use. Everybody asks me what kind. It's called Art Glitter Glue. There's no glitter in it. Um, I also have a link on my, it will be on the description of every video. Um, okay, so Kanisha, Kanisha, I hope I'm saying that correctly, is asking about um, mats. Okay, so personally, Kanisha, when I got my joy, they sent me all of these things. I normally um, work with uh, work with longer mats, so I actually prefer the longer mat. The small mats are okay and they're good for scraps and stuff like when you're using something small but I tend to work with this eight and a half by 11 inch paper which can go down to here so she's asking um Alicia's asking uh about you know how many mats well you probably want to get a card mat and the card mats as I mentioned the card mats quiet please um they don't last as long and uh, they, they're they not, oops, taking out the wrong piece. Um, they don't last as long for uh, for cutting. But the big ones, maybe if you got one or two, get a green one, get a blue one. Uh, they don't come in the purple. 
okay? So they don't come in the purple, but a green one, a blue one. Get the 12 inch because you can't go wrong having, um, having the 12 inch. Hey, stop. My neighbor's walking their dog and of course uh, teddy bear is growling over there um he knows not to yell okay so here's what i'm doing <laughs> i'm like i'm doing this off camera so here there's my cut look at how um intricate that cut is and i'm using my little pick but you can use whatever you want you can use your fingers or whatever just to kind of pick out these little pieces that cut but they just didn't remove when i took them on the mat so look all around make sure you've got all those pieces out i don't here on this r and the w Okay, so there is our top piece. So we have our base and our three cutouts. It's gonna go like this, one, two, three. And it gives, what I like about this is it, you know, you can see all three of the colors here and yet you have a white base. And by the way, you could put this in using a card mat and put your sentiment there, but we don't have time for that today. <laughs> but um, so let's see what we're gonna do. We're going to take this top one, flip it over. We're gonna use our glue and be very judicious about the amount of glue you use because even with this glue that I love um, that comes out of a very uh, small tip. Here we go. All right. Um, it will come out a little bit too much. So you have to really put just an ever so small amount in through all of these little uh, all of these little pieces that might stick up. Now this is where it's different from like the insert cards. The insert card doesn't you they don't use any uh, glue. Um, so it's a lot easier, especially for a newbie, you know. Um, but if you're feeling like you want to be more challenged or you want to sort of design your own rather than wait for the next joy cards and they make a lot of joy cards for sure but you know eventually you might want to branch out and do your own here is how you do it i have a couple of other um great cards to show you one is a coffee cup it's like a thank you card like it says thanks a latte i'm going to show you that one too um and then i a while ago, I did one with a really pretty 3D daisy on it. I can show you that one again. One that has like a lace front. Um, so it, once you get the hang of this, is basically um, you don't have to worry so much about the base um, as you do about the front. And then you're okay to sort of design. Thank you, Tyler. I... Thanks, Suzanne. Okay, so I'm, I put a little too much glue here, but I'm starting from the top. So hopefully that will keep some of that glue from seeping onto the base of our card. But the thing I like about this glue is that it doesn't, if even if it does seep out, it doesn't like dry shiny like a lot of other glues dry. Okay. So just going to make sure all that extra glue. And then I take this one and this one, it, it has like a little edge around it. Hi, Sarah. Right, Dorothy. And so this wasn't even designed as a card, but you know, just use your imagination as you're looking. I spend time looking at the images. Sometimes I'll just type in a word. Like the other day, I was thinking about unicorns and I, I did a unicorn search and found a few images I want to show you. Um, I did mermaid. I did giraffe. So there is, you know, it's so simple. Just go there and look in the image. And you know, some people don't even use it. Like some people are always like, I'll bring my own image in. And it's like, you know, why not use it? I mean, it's pretty, 
it's pretty amazing. They're, I think they're almost up to 200,000. Well, you can, yeah, Charlene wishes she was home with her, with her cricket. I know when you see somebody doing it, you're like, I want to try that. Okay. So this was not cut exactly. If I really wanted to be precise, I would go back and trim this, but you know, we're among friends. I don't need to do that. So there is my card. And again, you could put a sentiment in here. I didn't have time this morning to to show you. I will with the, the next one when we do that um, coffee cup, okay? But um, that is really all there is to it. Again, this image came from, uh, let's see, it came from an image set. I know, Brent, but eventually, you know, you kind of just go back. Brent's saying, I spend more time looking at all the cool things. Y you know, I think if that's kind of a first thing. All right, so just so you know, here's how you get to this image and a bunch of others. You go to image, you go to highlighted categories, image sets, and type in the word intricate. Okay, and then as you go down, here is here it is, intricate cut quotes. There's also, um, so that's what this looks like. And you have a bunch of drawing. You could do the drawing on your, on your uh, card. Um, and I could actually show you that part because especially with the joy, it would be slightly different. I could show you that maybe uh, another time how you would take one of these and use the drawing on a joy card with the card mat. And then also check out this grouping. It's called intricate seasonal art. These are all like seasonal um, images, lots of really cool images. Um, some of them are layered and some of them are not like this one is layered, but this one is just all one color. I've actually cut this out, um, and it, out of vinyl and large and put it in a frame. It's really fun. It's a really fun image for Halloween. And then I put like, um, like a, 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 a background in the frame. I put the, the actual cutout on the glass of the frame. Um, I could show you that some other time as well. Um, but this one has really a lot of images that would look really cool. See that that's kind of how I did it. But, um, there's some really cool things and also some right, great cutouts here that you could use to design your card. And don't feel like you have to take all the images that you're going to use. Like if you wanted this autumn and then you have to take something from here. No, you can, you know, choose that one and then go to another one and, and choose that and put that all in your, um, in your, uh, card you know you this is you designing these are all the um chinese i think zodiac zodiac animals really super fun that would look really good in gold with a red background um now this i would not recommend doing in paper because it's a mandala and it would look better um it, it would be difficult well I suppose either way, you'd have to weed it um, and you'd have to put a background on this one. Okay. So that is all there is. Yeah, that's really cool. Like a joy. If you're, it's, it's super portable. This is the joy. So if you're not aware of what the joy is, it launched in February and um, it is, it's a cricket and it does need, you can't do, it's not wireless. You do need to plug it in, but there's the cricket and it does quite a bit of things for this little tiny machine and if you're a crafter and you want to be around your um you want to be around your machine but you like to go camping or whatever or even vacationing um this is perfect for vacation it even has its own little um sold separately of course but it even has its own little case um so there's that anyway it's very portable Okay, so that is for today, sort of building your own cards from, and that's what we made. 
um, uh, be your own sunshine. And it's just really uh, cute. Yeah, Dawn, Dawn's saying about the price. I mean, the price is a, a little bit high, especially if you already own a machine, so it's hard to justify. Um, but, and I think, you know, what happens when, when Cricut starts with something new, it usually is like one calendar year before they start discounting it. Um, but uh, I'm trying to think. Sometimes I think this fall you'll probably catch some sales different places as well. So, okay, David, thanks for coming by. Happy crafting, everyone. I hope you enjoy your day and that you stay out of that hot sun that we all seem to be getting. We'll see you again tomorrow at 9 o'clock uh, for Cricket Chat. Thank you for joining me today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone.